Vincent Martel, uh, and I am the founder and creative director of VAM Studio. My name is Sam Bailey, and I am the digital art director at VAM. So today we're on set for LSD. This is an extra special project to us because it's taking a really big teaching point for VAM making it an inclusive set. Originally, uh, Jamila and Chan sort of approached us with the idea, you know, both of them wanting to support students who may feel like they're given less opportunity to, to be seen, to get their voices out there. And this project was really to show them that they have the opportunity to be producing really big stuff. So we created this huge competition calling all CPS filmmakers to submit their treatments. Ashley's kind of from the get jumped out to everyone. The idea is like kind of showing Chicago in this regalness, but it's like cool hipness as well. I was thinking about how like in my life, how my family has been involved in gang life and stuff. A lot of times when we were brought together, like in cookouts, when we were just together as a family, as a whole, that was our moment of serenity. And like that was a moment where we all just kind of forgot what I guess people look at us as and how most of the time that's our reality, you know, gun violence, just violence in general. So I thought that would be like a perfect idea for the music video, like showing how there's a lot more to the city than what the general masses say about us. We have so much more and I think families in Chicago specifically, like middle class families, they show the light of the city basically and that's really what I wanted to portray in like my treatment submission. And I love how you really emphasize the neighborhoods. So we really yeah. want to showcase um, not only like the downtown or like only the beach, but like the places where people actually live. And I love how in Ashley's treatment she said, LSD like a play off of tripping off the happiness of being in summertime Chicago in our own neighborhood with our families and friends. At VAM and working with Sam, um, we try to create like a safe space when we're on set, so it's not an intimidating process. It's way more comfortable. And I've always learned the most in situations like that where you don't feel intimidated asking questions because the only way to learn that is to ask or to be taught. I kind of wish we were doing like a multitude of videos, right? Because there were so many cool submissions and that's the reason why we had so many more shadows than we initially thought we would was because there were a lot of really great ideas. It's such a great experience. I can't even put what I'm feeling in words right now. Coming up in a bad neighborhood, it is a blessing that I'm able to get this opportunity. If things like this happen more often, maybe gang violence will stop. Maybe people will get off the streets and actually do something because music does change a lot. Music is going to change how people think and how people feel. What VAM's doing is like really important to like upcoming kids like us who have dreams and they're out here helping us and they're just opening the doors and giving us opportunities that we would never usually get. Mainly kids should be exposed to this more because like I come from a school like I don't even know like nothing about film so like me getting this opportunity has like opened doors for me to be like oh I actually like film and stuff like that because other than that I wouldn't like know nothing about it so I think more schools should get like the opportunity to introduce film. I think it's like super important especially that it was opened up to CPS kids because like arts programs are always getting cut so quickly and they're kind of just pushed under the radar and so getting opportunities like this can help you be more immersed in like the art and in like what you want to do. It, it wasn't an experience that I had, like I didn't have film class either in my high school. Um, so to be able to like reach out and I don't know, work with kids is I think like really beneficial to me too as like an adult. I really wish like growing up that I would have had those same opportunities as far as like shadowing somebody who's directly working in the field that is my like aim. It even made me think how can I reach out like how can I incorporate youth in my own like artistic practice and it seems like it's easy it's just like inviting them in and then showing them whatever tools and knowledge that I have. I think Chicago's kind of going through a renaissance now and it's really exciting to watch it happen. Um, what I think is like unique to Chicago is this sense of collaboration and this like blue collar way of approaching work and art, which is like just you kind of put your head down and you do the work and you work with people that you vibe with. We kind of all are coming up together at the same time. And what's really cool is to watch this like group of people who are already getting a little bit of uh, a little bit of shine kind of reach back and bring up younger people. I'm just like really looking to Sam and like seeing how she handles everything and like trying to take that with me wherever I go and model that. I really hope to 
watch the dynamic and like the behaviors of the female producers and people of color um, and how they sort of navigate the set and how they take action and everything, make things actually happen. I feel like that's really important to observe. I work with young people all the time. I teach at Young Chicago Authors and help organize Louder Than a Bomb. And I'm always inspired by my students. And I think in you know the school system, no one trusts young people. No one empowers them. Everyone is focused on, you know, what's your test score? What what can you regurgitate that I taught you? Versus just asking young people to take leadership role or you know do something creative. So I think it was just important, especially um, to partner with Vam, who is always doing stuff with young people and inclusive sets on sets like this, um, and also Chance, who's been doing so much work with CPS. So it's a, it was like a perfect song and a perfect moment to do it. I think people like Chance and Jamila see the potential that a lot of kids in Chicago have that is generally ignored, but like seeing like people dedicate themselves to creative programs for youth is important. I think they do it because they see what other people don't see, which is really what the LSD video was about, was like showing people what they normally don't see about the city of Chicago, which is that as a whole, like if you hear towards the end of the song, like it says, it talks about like unity and like persevering against like what else can we do but move forward? And that's really what the city does. And I think that's what a lot of the youth does. Like we just move forward with what we want to do. A lot of people don't believe in the power and creativity and ingenuity of young people, especially CPS and like hearing from you all about your experiences in school and how sometimes you're not given opportunities to learn things for yourself or make things for yourself. So I learn so much from my students all the time and I thought it would be cool to have you all involved in this video and it was cool to do it with the song with Chance because of all the work that he's done supporting CPS. I was so uh, excited when I heard the idea and saw uh, the huge response and even happier when I found out that so many of you guys uh, were included and able to shadow and work today. Yeah. Having the collaborative effort of all you guys around and young energy and new ideas. Yeah, it made for a great video. I feel like Chicago needs to recognize adult leaders who are trying to make a difference and are trying to do everything that they can to make sure that the generations that are coming after them are going to be secure and that can also help uplift our city. And I don't see a lot of adults making those kind of strides, but Chance, Jamila, YCA, there are programs in Chicago that are pulling up their sleeves and getting grimy with the dirty work of trying to pull our young people above where we've gone. Our kids need to be safe and they need to be given opportunities, period. And if you do that, then you watch them succeed all the time. They do not fail you. <laughs> As always. As always. Well, you too, man. You know, I didn't go to film school. I didn't have anyone to kind of show me that this is what you do as a director and this is what it looks like, especially like, as a black woman. And so um, it's really important to me, especially because Ashley, like Ash and I grew up in like neighborhoods that are adjacent to each other. Um, and it's like really important to me that we kind of show her like, oh, look, you can do this. And like, no one has to give you permission to, you just need to know that it's an option. I took a lot today from Jamila. Like she was such a sweet and kind person. It was really an awesome experience. That's like once in a lifetime and I'm like, extremely grateful for this opportunity.